Hey what is up you guys it's Aya welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm going to be watching Love Victor season 3 episode 5 now last episode was such a well written episode it was so good um so many characters got so many payoffs like with her mom uh Victor with with Nick Bilal with her father including Felix as well they now accept uh Felix and Bilal's relationship and in the last moments of the show, of the episode, Isabel found Bilara's birth control pills, which I didn't address because I was speaking about Victor, um, I was finishing a thought, but she found Bilara's pills, so now she's going to be even mad that Bilara's taking these pills and she could be sexually active, which is crazy. Uh, I don't know, I cannot wait to see what Isabel does this episode to Bilar, or like questions her or does stuff to her. Uh, Victor broke things off with Nick, which was understandable because victor is a relationship guy and nick is clearly looking for a hookup uh that was a done deal so victor and nick are now over um another thing that i really enjoyed about the episode was benji and raheem's relationship was super super funny and the two of them make such an, an iconic duo and i cannot wait to see more of them this episode uh yeah there's so much there's so much i could speak about lake came out to her mom uh, there's so much i could speak about but without, without any further ado i'm gonna get straight into reacting to this episode if you are new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe and please like this video if you truly enjoyed it because it really helps me out all right you guys without any further ado love victor season three episode five let's go oh benji's playing some music he must be in his fields look out Adam Levine. Hey, look, I got some good news from the lawyers. We were finally able to get your record expunged. What is what is that? Oh, I didn't well, even know his record could, could be expunged. Get drunk and drive my I mean, he has rich parents. What was I what what was I, I expecting? Make it go away like that. That's Wait, that's literally what I'm saying. Look, this is a good thing, Bench. Now we never have to think about that embarrassing day ever again. Glad to know that my mental health was an was a what what is what is Benji's dad even saying? Sorry, my mental health was an inconvenience to you. There were pictures from your laptop on there. What pictures? Oh, pictures of some men, saucy pictures. pictures. Of men, pictures of a name, an article of clothing. There was a picture of a man not wearing that. <laughs> oh. Okay. You know where um, the danger is. I, I think you know I, where the no, danger is with these type of sync ups and stuff. And she is just completely boy crazy. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, for a second there, I thought. I mean, I'm not that there's anything wrong with being gay. I just never thought my son would be. <laughs> They're always like, oh, it can happen to them. It can happen to them. But once it happens to me, then I'm gonna have a problem with it. Uh, come on. <laughs> Okay, so this is looking like it's going to be a Benji-focused and Benji-centric episode. Uh, we just got a flashback and his mental health might, might be declining again. Or he's just thinking of like what happened when his mental health wasn't uh, the best. So, and how, how with I hope he talks Still to Raheem and he there. can talk his oh, emotions out instead of just drinking Not through them. Roy. Ask me what you want to ask me already. How's tutoring Benji going? There yeah. He is. I'm sitting right here. Oh, I'm it's Andrew. Strong. We didn't see him last episode. I really did miss him. The best way to get over someone is to get under somebody else. <laughs> this is definitely the table scene that was in the trailer, and Victor is going to set up his grinder profile, which. Really? Yep. No picture, just V. How ominous. Your name is. Diego. You're strong. Dangerous, wild in bed. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Me familiar. Oh, they were just waiting in the way, huh? Oh, the birth control pills. Oh no. You go home. You are not welcome here anymore. In your room. You said you weren't having sex. Okay. What if she's not? It looks, but we're not. I promise. Felix doesn't even know I have that. How stupid do you think we are? If you just calm down and listen to me. No, I am done listening to you. Us no more secrets, and then we find these in your room. Give him your. Well, the first step to telling more secrets is saying no more secrets. Because watches have texting. It's a time mix. All right, fine. Just keep the watch and go to your room. 
Ooh, Victor's first message. Let's see what it says. Do you have a face to go with it? <laughs> Look who's talking. Unless you're a gay sunset that's learned how to spell, in which case, I apologize. So, Who what is that? Doing? Lucas. Wait, what are you doing in my room? Oh, calm down. I don't care that you have a Shawn Mendes calendar. Oh, yeah. I, I just got it as a joke. I mean, sure. everyone should sure. have a Shawn Mendes calendar, to be honest. Wait. Tell me what's going on. Mom and Dad found birth control in my room. What? Are you in Felix? No, yeah, I, like, I, please explain as to why did, you have it stashed away. Dad me and Dad went batshit and took my phone, so I really need that walkie-talkie to talk to Felix. Well, um, just press the button on the side if you want to okay. talk. I'll figure it out, Victor. It's a toy for a seven-year-old. <coughs> want to meet at Kooky Judy's for Drag Queen Bingo? Okay, I mean, you should go, honestly. Yeah, that's like you don't know what these people look Ooh. like sometimes. Victor? <gasps> Benji, what Benji? are you doing here? Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm just uh, meeting someone. <laughs> Not them catfishing each other. You should go in, you're, you're already here. Lucas? Diego? Diego? <laughs> hey, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, am I right? You use that torso pick. Whose abs are those? You're a freshman at Emory, figured out. Okay. <laughs> um, are you supposed to be going on dates? I mean, in, in terms of your, uh, your recovery? Sobriety. Uh, no, not really. I, I just... Really needed a distraction tonight. Oh. Oh, okay. So I would rather go out and meet with a random stranger than like go into a stash of like vodka or whatever. Just for tonight. Yeah, yeah. I support this tonight. notion. Go ahead. Come on, Diego. <laughs> oh my god. Do I not know how sex works? I just wanted to be prepared. I mean, we're in love, and it seemed like things were headed that way. I mean, it looked like she'd been taking it for a while, so I don't know. She was down her final row. Did you explain that to your parents? I mean, not the, you know, heading that way part. I mean, they didn't give her a chance to explain, so. I tried to, but they think I'm lying. What do you mean to take a step back? If it's not Felix, it's going to be someone else. And at least they know who Felix is and they can control like, like how Pilar can interact with him. But if it's someone else, she's going to be A, sneaking around, B, they're probably going to be going to places that are dangerous. And C, they don't even know who that person might be or their morals or like even have met their family. So I think they should give Pilar a break, honestly. Are you there? over yeah it's over felix over over All right, had oh the subtext in that over yes and our first number is b24 not victor yet number another number drag show um, are you sure you're, you're okay with all this with, with everyone drinking no i 29 I also like 69, but that's a different game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lucas. What did you major in? Music. Oh, my ex-boyfriend was a musician. Mm. Sounds dreamy. Yes, very dreamy. Uh, did you have anyone special like that? Nah, I only dated duds. Ears, all pale and horny. <laughs> Here's your prize. Oh, oh no. Wow. Actually sober. Well good for you. <laughs> Even better for me. More for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really hope they can get through this and like I don't think talking is the problem. I I think I don't know. I don't know what the problem is actually or how they can solve it. 
it's just one of those things where you just have to give it time. Oh, this is the night he crashed the car. Thank God. Oh, you're so scared. He is risen. What are you thinking? I was thinking I just had to get as far away from you as I can. I can't do this anymore. There's something you should know about me. It's just bringing up a lot of memories. There's so much you could say about this, but I'm not going to. I didn't mean to make it heavy. No, it's it's okay. I'm I'm fine with heavy. I have anxiety. You're Benji. Nothing ever gets you. Tricked you. Well. I think you should be more worried about disappointing yourself, Benji. Like, this is his journey and he shouldn't be doing it for anyone else but himself to be the best version of himself. And then he can show up for the other people in his life. Look, I'm not trying to mess with your recovery. But maybe us hanging out together could be good for you. And they're telling me to keep my life as manageable and simple as possible right now victor can be we simple a lot of things victor and i'm not sure simple is one of them oh this is so frustrating victor wants to be there for him so much yeah. victor and i don't think benji's separating victor and benji from victor because Victor, as an individual, has grown so much since the last time they spoke um, after Benji came out of rehab. He's, he's practiced being light about stuff and like going with the flow. And I think Benji could learn or take a page from Victor's book. What they don't know won't hurt them. Lying is what got you in this mess, Pilar. What do you... Mm. Wait, Clark, wait. Why? Is your mom home? No. No, 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 no. Um, she's uh, out with Stuart. I just, you know, I'm, I'm not... I'm just not sure about this. That's not what this is. It mm, just... Kinda is. I feel you pulling away, and one minute we're taking a step back, the next minute we'll be breaking up. <laughs> you seemed like you were excited about having sex one day, so I thought if we did, I just... I just didn't want to lose you. Yeah, no. Thanks. I don't know how I feel about getting Benji's backstory now because we have heard this entire story from Benji um, but we are seeing more context now which I'm super happy about but we could have gotten this last season like it didn't need to take this long Who's this kid? He's a terrible student He's got a drinking problem He's not the son I pictured Mr. Campbell? Hey, what's what's going on? Hi, Victor. I'm sorry to come by unannounced, but I was um, hoping you and I could talk. Uh, yeah, sure. Come Whatever in. about. Let me take a second. I saw you and Benji saying goodnight outside of our house, and I'd really prefer if you wouldn't see him anymore. The problems in your relationship caused him to relapse. We don't know that for sure. Well, he's not taking any chances or any prisoners, so. Ups and downs, but you and Benji months of fighting and then he then he sees you dancing with another boy at the wedding and he he drives straight home conveniently forgetting what he put listen it wasn't just victor benji's dad is pissing me off right now like it wasn't just victor who did all these things it wasn't it was victor's entire situation you know, with victor. benji adding additional pressure if you really cared about benji you'd stay away Ugh, we were doing so well last episode and now it feels like everything is just taking three steps back. Felix needs mom and dad to be okay with him more than he needs me. I know you're his best friend, so you'll probably take a side. You're my sister. Yeah. Have the fish. <laughs> Those pilars, um, no, Felix is Swedish fish that his mom likes. This was such a like somber and very like sad-ish episode like it just feels like Victor cannot win. He tries to be light about stuff and hook up with Nick but it doesn't work out because he's not a hookup guy or he's not used to it. He tries to 
meet up with people on apps, the very first person he meets up with is his ex-boyfriend. Like, it just feels like he's taking L's this entire season, and it was expected, but it wasn't to this level, because he doesn't have Simon to, like, guide him, or he doesn't have Simon to, like, like, ask for, like, advice or whatever. Like, yes, he does have people in his life, like Felix, and but they're all going through their own stuff, um, and they haven't been, or they aren't in, in Victor's shoes. He can't even ask Raheem, the only other gay guy he knows, because Vic- Raheem hasn't experienced a relationship before so it's tough for victor and i definitely feel for him um but i feel like in his next few episodes he's gonna like start getting some momentum and he's gonna like be leading up to the end game because we cannot end the story in a somber a sad thing in a sad way because the show is so important to so many people and the stories that the show is telling is like we, we cannot end it in like oh if you if you are queer or you're a member of the LGBT community, then it's always going to be sad for you. you you're never going to have anyone that like wants you or like you're always going to be viewed as you, you're bad. Parents are going to ask you to stay away from like people that you care about. It's just a lot to think about. Um, but yeah, and now Felix and Pilar are like breaking up or like it's crazy. Like I don't know how they're going to fix this or like how they're going to come back from this, but I'm so excited to find out and i want to see this resolved and i cannot wait for the next episode if you did enjoy this episode um this episode reaction then please do subscribe and like this video and yeah i'm gonna see you guys in my next video